Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're finishing up our packs for patrons, uh, Throne of Eldrain for the month of uh, November. We had a few people left. Um, this video is a little bit late. Um, a lot of things played into that, uh, one being the holidays, um, but the biggest catalyst uh, for this being delayed, and this is something I want to point out, um, and I've seen this over the years. Um, there are several sellers on eBay uh, that are scammers. Now, uh, generally the first boxes that I open for patrons, they're always bought from local gaming stores because I really want to support them. Um, on the other hand, uh, I have to keep an eye on the finances of the channel. Uh, so after I buy those initial booster boxes, that's usually two from lo local game stores, um, anything I need after that I buy from eBay. And so I'm going to tell you about a little experience that I had, and hopefully we can prevent this from happening in the future. Um, due diligence on my part was not seen through. Um, there was an eBay seller that was selling a box uh, for rather cheap. Um, I will say it was uh, under 85 bucks, which should have been my first red flag. Um, and then the feedback, the person only had like 10 feedback. Um, I've seen this before, and it's essentially where they uh, list a box for a really good price, and then you purchase it, um, but then you actually receive the product. So you're not out the money, you don't think anything about it. Um, Unfortunately, what happens is they actually order you the product from somebody else using a stolen credit card. Um, and, and that's exactly what happened uh, with our last booster box. Um, I uh, it, Normally, the vast majorities of these that I've ever seen, um, they all came from the Russian Federation or somewhere in that general vicinity. Um, is where they usually originate, um, but everyone I've ever seen, has, they've always been outside of the U.S. Uh, this one was located in Florida, so I guess that's why I didn't connect all the dots. Um, but anyways, when I received the package, the person who was doing the scamming actually messed up. They addressed, like the address was correct, it was mine, but the person they addressed it to was not me, but they addressed it to the person whose credit card they stole. Um, now, I was going to show you guys the invoice um, to show you exactly what I'm talking about, but there's actually just, there's just too much personal information about this person who got their credit stolen, um, and essentially I would have had to black out most everything that, you know, that, that you're supposed to look for. So, uh, so uh, unfortunately, um, the second I saw that, that was a red flag, and then I opened it up, and I saw that the box had been shipped from Card Kingdom with a total of, uh, I think, 113 and some change. Um, so, I mean, that, it's obviously wrong. And then, aside from the name being on there, uh, they put the uh, credit card number, you know, the, what is it, 6 or 9. The, they put a bunch of X's and they include the last four numbers just so you can see that it is yours. And uh, they didn't match any of the cards that I normally use online. So, unfortunately, that uh, uh, someone had their credit stolen. Um, and then, to make it even better, as because uh, I called Card Kingdom immediately and said, you know, this is what's going on. This is what I believe to be happening. Um, and they recognized it right away. Uh, I never knew that it was called a triangle scheme. Uh, I've known about it. I didn't know what it was called, but it's called a triangle scheme. Um, and I did my best to work with them to figure out how to to solve this the best uh, and during that conversation they informed me that a lot of the a lot of times uh, the way they keep this uh, this engine running is that when people buy stuff from them if they use a credit card they will then use that credit card information um, I don't entirely know how they obtain it because I know that eBay does have some safety nets in place but uh, so on top of all that I had to cancel um, the card I made the purchase with, and it's just a big old headache. But uh, regardless, we didn't use uh, uh, the best judgment when uh, when it came to ordering. That's something that you really should look out for because while yes, you are getting product, you're receiving, and see, and that's the brilliance of it. Because 
unless you actually dig, everything looks fine because you got your product. Uh, the seller who actually sent you the product, um, they got paid. So essentially the only person that's going to really know about it is the scammer that initiated it. Um, so do some due diligence. Um, I asked what to, should be done with the booster box, and uh, I was told that uh, it essentially it didn't have to be sent back because it was uh, already paid for. Uh, but that just didn't sit well on my conscience. Um, yeah, I just I, I I didn't feel right doing that. So uh, we've got a, a new booster box here. Uh, it's, it's finally here and ready to go. Um, and it just that's something to look out for. I've already been rambling for uh, for almost six minutes here, so I apologize about that. But I, I feel this is something important. I mean, every time this happens. You know, somebody's life is getting severely disrupted. So, um, just a little PSA for everyone. Now, let's get on to the good stuff. We're going to start off with Mr. Richard. Oh, Richard, thank you very much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. We're going to go ahead and grab you a couple packs out of here. Then we're going to the build a pack box. Now, this is all for 10 bucks. He gets two packs. And then we're going to build him a pack out of our build a pack box. With not one, but it's got two random rares. We got a random common or uncommon worth at least a buck, a random foil, and a random foil basic. I tell you, our pickings are getting a little slim here. We need to refill this. All right, then we're going to grab him 10 out of this. These are commons and uncommons from throughout Magic's history. Uh, nothing crazy like alpha stuff, um, but there's, there is vintage stuff in here. Nothing of severe value, um, at least when I put it in. Um, there has been more than one occasion where uh, a card has went in here and then it spiked and it's like, oh, cool, you just got like a $5 card. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Uh, we also have random rares in here, foils, prize cards where you can win extra packs and whatnot. Uh, lots of fun stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what we're getting for him. We got a Waxing Moon, uh, Return to Nature. Looks like you're playing green. Uh, you got a Bristling Boar. Uh, Specter's Shriek, you get a Snapping Drake, a League Guild Mage, uh, a Strength of Night, you get a Dispense Justice, a Rocks Veteran, and a Blessed Light, or Blessed Light, depending on how you like to pronounce that. All right, good stuff there. See, you got for your Foil Basic, it is a uh, Ixalan uh, Plains. I was looking at it and almost said island. I don't know. All right, our random foil is... Oh, hey, you got a uh, pre-release promo, an Identity Thief. That's fun stuff. I hated this card during pre-release. It wrecked me more than once. Okay, all right, our common run common is Cultivate. That's a staple you just... I, you love that card. If you have green EDH, chances are that's in it. All right, our first rare is going to be... Hey, we got a Mythic, a Deploy the Gatewatch. Love that card. And our next rare is... We got a Narset's Reversal. All right, congratulations on your Build-A-Pack box pack. I said it right in the first time. Holy cats, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got in your packs. Skip past here. Hey, you got another Specter Shriek. Uh, Sage of the Falls, Arcanist Owl, and Gilded Goose. All right, and then, is that it? No, that's Land Derp. I knew that. Make sure you're paying attention. Good job, folks. Got yourself a Gilded Goose. That's a, that's a good little card. I am a... I wasn't a fan at first, but it, it's good. It's good. I mean, generally with green, I'm wanting to build big stuff to turn sideways and smash. It's... And th I mean, this will help you there, but it's a little bit different. Uh, all right. Let's see. We got uh, an Okame Familiar, or I'm sorry, Okame Ranger. Not familiar. We got a Ferocity of the Wilds, Inspiring Veteran, and a Witch's Vengeance. And this one does have a foil. So our foil is a Prophet of the Peak. That's actually... Oh, man. With the foil, I mean, I, I don't think you guys can see it, 
but his eyes, the way they reflect back, that's straight creepy. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. Go ahead and grab your name tag, stick it on your stack here. And then we are going to move on to our next person, which is Twilight Eve. Twilight Eve, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. And do the same thing. Grab you two packs, and then we're going to slide the build a pack box over. We got one. We'll grab the very last one. Two. Common or uncommon. Random foil. Random foil basic. We'll grab that one. And then ten out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right, let's hope we see a prize card in here because dang, we haven't seen a prize card in a while. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a Barrage Ogre, we got a Lich's Caress, uh, Paritic Wanderer, we got an Augur of Bolus, uh, Voracious Vampire, Moment of Craving, Hired Poisoner, Bladed Sentinel. Graph Rats, that was the double-sided that we saw. And then we got a Brineborn Cutthroat. All right, let's see what we got here. Your foil basic is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Get yourself a uh, Battle for Zendikar Full Art Forest foil. Followed by uh, a Prey Upon from um, Eldritch. Our common or uncommon, worth at least a buck. You got it not of this world. Okay, that works. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that's still up there. I could be wrong. But. All right. Our first rare is a Mirrodin Besieged. That's fun stuff. I love that whole Mirrodin Besieged block. That was just fun. All right. Our second rare is a Sigarda's Aid. Um, I don't know where this is at right now. I, it did jump for a little bit when uh, Pioneer started to rear its head. I, I don't know where it's at now, but... I love that card. Um, I've got myself a playset and a foil that, um, or a playset of foils that are in my personal collection that I will not be getting rid of because I just love that card. All right, let's see what's in your packs. All right, we got uh, Once in Future, Mad Rider, Improbable Alliance, one of my favorite arts in this set, just love it. And then you got a Piper of the swarm next pack let's see what we got here alrighty I think we may have gotten a foil we got claim the firstborn shine chaser okay advisory and then oh we didn't get a foil I'm sorry and then you got a stolen by Faye. All right. Well, there you are. Congratulations. And thank you so much for being a patron. We're going to grab your stack. All right. Next on our list, who do we got? Cody Harat. Cody, thank you so much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. Um, now, Cody, I do need you to get a hold of me. Um, I've reached out to you a couple times, but I haven't heard back. Um, your last patron package was sent back. Uh, so I need you to get a hold of me, uh, and we can figure out the whole address thing. So uh, he is in our booster pack here. So for four bucks, he gets a pack of cards. That is pretty much four bucks right there. And then he's going to get a random foil basic, because everybody gets foil basics. If you receive cards from this channel, out of the build pack box, or I'm sorry, out of any of our Patreon tiers. If you receive stuff, you're going to get a foil basic. That's just how we roll. All right, the foil basic is... Uh, oh, you got yourself an original Ravnica uh, Island. That's kind of nice. All right, let's see what you got in your pack. We haven't had any crazy pulls, uh, like in our last couple videos, because our last couple videos, dang... Those people pulled gross. All right. We got uh, Marleaf Pixie, uh, Shepherd of the Flock, Trail of Crumbs, and Happily Ever 
after. Oh, wah, wah. I am sorry. I know that's, you know, it's, when I first saw that card, I'm like, all right, this, someone's going to build something crazy around it. And it may not be good, but at least it's going to be somewhat fun with a win con. And then from what I've seen, like, it just, you, you can't make the deck work. It's, it's one of those things. It's just, there's too, way, just way too many moving parts, way too many moving parts. All right. Anyways, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Next person, last but not least, Mr. Kevin Chan, our oldest patron. He has been around before we were actually even doing anything. Like there was like two or three months. He was the one, a $1 subscriber. And like, we weren't doing anything for Patreon. We had just set the account up. That's it. But he's a good guy, buddy of mine. All right. So let's go ahead and see what he got for his foil basic. He got Kevin in the lands, man. Uh, this is one of the magic fest promo swamps. Fun stuff right there. And let's see what is in Kevin's pack. Oh, see, now that is okay. Y'all watch me pull these out of this box. This is the first pack. That has been like that. All right, so we got token, we got land. That should be the rare. That should be three uncommons. Nope, foil rare. Okay. All right, let's see. We got a cauldron's gift. We got a covetous urge and an animating fairy. Our rare is. Stormfist Crusader, followed by a foil. Oh, foil alternate art or showcase art. Uh, Arden Vale Tactician. No idea what that price is, but man, is that beautiful! Good lord, winner, winner, chicken dinner on that. I'm calling it just because it's so dang pretty. Holy cats! All right, well, there you are, Kevin. Thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Go ahead and put your cards in there. Name tag. I just hit the microphone. Hopefully it's not too loud for y'all. All right. Now what are we going to do next? <clears throat> oh, that's right. I remember. Uh, we are, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and flip cameras here. And uh, so as you can see, Everyone that commented on one of last week's videos, your name is on the wheel here. If you want to enter this little uh, giveaway we do pretty much every week, there's only two things you have to do. First of all, you have to be subscribed to the channel. Second of all, you have to comment. A single comment, that gets you in. Your name gets put on the wheel, uh, and then you can possibly win stuff. So uh, if you do win, you do have 30 days to contact us. Um, if you don't get a hold of us from that 30 days, then we're just going to take your cards and we put them into the patreon build a pack box um just because i i can't keep stuff forever but anywho we're gonna run over to random.org with their dice roller we're gonna roll two six-sided dice whatever comes up that's how many times we're gonna click the wheel we got three all right so we're gonna click this thing three times whoever comes up you're gonna be the winner good luck to everybody that's involved we've got once twice and thrice Congratulations to Forest Lee. Forest, congratulations. You are getting a uh, pack of Throne of Eldraine opened up for you. So uh, just go ahead and get a hold of me, and uh, you know that way I can get a shipping address and get your card or cards out to you. All right, we're going to go ahead and flip this thing back over. All right. I've got a pack of Throne here. Man, I just... It is, I don't know if it's me. Does anyone else feel like the packaging is different? It has a different feel to it. Like it's looser or something. Yep, okay, yeah, there's another one. All right, so we got that, that. That should be rare. We should have three uncommons. Okay, yep, that's it. All right, let's see. We got a Sorcerer's Broom. We got a Drown in the Lock and a Savvy Hunter. With your rare being... A Torbran Thrain of Red Fell. This guy's doing some work right now. No idea what the price is at, but uh, he is definitely doing some work 
I'm gonna grab some sleeves out here as I knock everything over on my desk. Okay, put this in a sleeve. There's my chicken scratch. All right, like I said, just go ahead and get a hold of us. Tell us where to send it, and we'll get it out to you. Uh, but we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Let me get a little sip of coffee. Hold on. Uh, we're going to crack open some packs uh, to put into our Patreon box, because it's been a while since we've done that uh, with packs. So we'll just go ahead and we'll do four packs, nothing big. Terribly sorry, folks. All right. All this stuff will be going into the Patreon build the pack box. I forgot about that, that we're doing the upside down thing now. Um, yeah, so all the good stuff in here is going to go into the box. No foils, anything. No. All right. Uh, we got the Owl. We got the Venerable Knight and Ferocity of the Wilds. I put that in the wrong pile, didn't I? We'll call that good. I think that's... Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Sure. All right. And then our rare is... Whoa. All right. Well, looks like an Ember Cleave is going into the box. That's kind of nice. That thing is just so ridiculous when it hits the battlefield. All right. Good start. Oh, that's right. All right, one, two, three. And then, got yeah, nothing. More stuff in there. All right, and then, let's see what we've got here. We've got the Bell of the Brawl, Beanstalk Giant, and Sage of the Falls, followed by Return of the Wild Speaker. All righty. Okay, rare, uh -huh. alrighty, almost did it again, I'm just so used to putting cards over that way, alright, let's see, we got a Deathless Knight, uh, we've got an Edgewald Innkeeper, and a Sage of the Falls, our rare is uh, Iron, Iron Crag Pyromancer, yeah, alright, one last pack, let's see what kind of good stuff we can do for the Patreon build a pack box, uh, and the reason I do this at the end is that so that way everyone has a chance to, uh, you know, pull the good stuff that we pull. All right, all right, we got another improbable alliance, uh, Sir Farron the Hen Henge Hammer, and then Glass Casket. Our rare is Yorvo. Lord of Garmbrig. One more pack. We're going to do one more pack. I mean, the Embercleave is nice. Um, I, I don't know where that's at price-wise, because I know there's been a lot of fluctuation. Um, yeah. Okay. Do -do. Rare. Uncommons. Oh, nope. We got a foil. That's what we got. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got an Okame Ranger, uh, Slaying Fire, and Spectre's Shriek, followed by a Midnight Clock. I like this card. It is so fun. And then our foil is a Foil Shining Armor. Alrighty. Well, that's about it. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll put this off to the side. This can go into the Build a Pack box. Uh, yeah. I think that's about it. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you can tell we're coming out with new stuff, and then share this. That is one of the most important things. Share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, uh, all the social medias, Chuckwagon MTG.